Hey guys, welcome back to the House of Wrinkles, bringing you the how-to for English Bulldogs and other canine tips and tricks. This is going to be part one of a three-part series on how to care for newborn puppy litters. This three-part series is based off of one fact. The fact being that a quiet puppy is a happy puppy. There's only three reasons why a puppy would be crying, and those are if they're hungry, if their stomach hurts, or if they're cold. And in this first part, we're going to talk about the feeding process for newborn puppies. So what we want you to know is that a happy puppy is a quiet puppy. There's only three reasons why the puppy would be crying. And that is, and we're talking about newborn puppies here. Um, and that is either they're hungry, uh, their stomach's hurting, or they're cold. And um, also, <laughs> if they're squirmy like this, that means that they're, they're healthy as well. So if your puppy's hungry, then you want it to be squirmy. If it's limp or lethargic, uh, weak, can't hold its head up, then that's a sign something's wrong. So what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna do three videos, and the next three videos will be hitting on each of those points. She is verbal. She is hungry. <laughs> so that's what it sounds like when they're hungry. Okay, what I want to tell you about feeding time is it's really, really, really important that you are completely interactive, active with your mama and the babies when they're eating. You can't just put them in here and hope for the best. Um, I think they're going to feed because as you can see, they get lost, like this one right here. This one is not feeding. <laughs> You've got to really get in here and make sure that they're latching on good, that they're not knocking each other out of the way. This one back here is not feeding. you got to help them out. You want to feed them every two to three hours for the first two weeks and you want to let them feed vigorously for about 30 to 45 minutes. So what we do is we actually sit close by and monitor the feeding for the whole feeding process. So <clears throat> if you don't, you risk the mama kicking it out of the way, one of them out of the way or one pushing the other one out of the way and they can quickly decline in health if they're not eating the properly um if they're not getting enough nutrition obviously the puppy's not going to thrive so <clears throat> with monitoring them you can just make sure that each puppy is really uh eating and getting what they need with that being said, what you want to do is you want to weigh each puppy every day about the same time each day. You ideally want each puppy to gain at least 3% of their own body weight in order to know that that puppy is thriving and gaining healthy. Um, we keep a log that just helps you to see and we write down each day what their weight is uh, to make sure that, that, that each puppy is gaining the way they're supposed to. Another good point I'd like to mention is we had talked in an earlier video about how the mama can bleed for several weeks after giving birth. That is um, true for C-section births or natural births. And you want to kind of keep that area clean and the reason why is the puppies can often crawl back there and actually ingest part of that blood and it can cause bloody stool. 
It's also a really good idea to check each teeth and make sure that each teeth is actually producing milk. You don't want um, the puppy to be feeding on, you know, obviously, and not getting anything. So it's important to check that. You really want to try to keep the puppies from feeding upside down. Sometimes they'll get flipped over on their backs and they'll be eaten upside down. And it's really not a good idea to let them do that because what happens is that milk can actually come up and out their nose and they can aspirate. They can actually get um, pneumonia that way. So you want to kind of uh, discourage them from eating that way. On the side, on, laying on their side or on their belly is best. If the puppy does eat upside down um, or if the puppy's eating too fast and it does come out their nose, that's what you use this for. Uh, you can just use this to suck the milk out of the nose the same way you would a baby. My last point is going to be that you want to try your best to get the mama or encourage the mama to lay on um, a different side each feeding. And the reason for that is if um, if the teats are not being used, then the milk can set up mastitis in there and cause a breast infection in the mama. So you really want to encourage her to switch sides each feeding using trying to utilize all of the teats possible uh, in one day. Thanks again, you guys, for watching. Um, stay tuned for our next two videos where we continue this series. The next video is going to be on how to uh, make sure that they are, don't get a tummy ache and how to make them go to the bathroom and, and those kind of things. So make sure and uh, stay tuned for that video. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Um, follow us on all of our social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And thanks again.